I want to talk about celebrities uh-huh, because go, go. <laughs> because because they are goals right for everyone for millions and millions of people Hi Matthew Hi everyone new Good to have you back Thank you, you lovely to place? see you again I'm loving it it's yeah? perfect it's yeah. brilliant Better than the last one right Definitely it's been a long time Suits your uh, suits the profile of this Yeah yeah it does not a plain white wall but yeah. you know this chill dude having a beer looking at it yeah. yeah that's right. very you <laughs> It's I mean yeah why not I I mean that should be everyone in a way Right It's been 2 years 2 years since I had you on the show yes. How how's life what's been up It's just been better since and uh, i have incorporated a lot of new things into my programs uh, for example we've now come up with holistic health so no longer a person subscribing to my program will get only nutrition they will get a nutrition that's a diet plan they will get a workout program and they will get meditation right. so i i realized that you know it's not just body but it's mind body and soul together so mind body soul goals which have to be addressed together so right. therefore holistic health so uh, how did the need arise like what made you think that okay mind and meditation they need to be a part of your nutritional approach so what would happen is when uh, members would so when inquiries would approach me telling me that you know we have so and so problem and we are trying to address that and i've gained weight because of uh, x y i had too much stress at work or i have just had uh, a baby or uh, we've just separated uh, any of these things yeah. so i would land up realizing that uh, while they are targeting the symptom which is the growth uh, which is the increase in their weight or decrease in their right, weight whatever right. or loss of stamina energy it's not always weight loss it could be stamina energy endurance we also i also have clients for fatty liver okay. and you never know when stress can lead to the growth of any problems inside the body nice so you were actually uh, looking at the stress management part as well included in your i felt that incorporating meditation will help them reach their so called symptomatic body goals right. faster right so when they are calmer and they are cooler right they are uh, in a better position to uh, address their diet plan as well right and uh, thereby yielding more results because energy no matter what you say is very powerful so mm. it's very important that they are in a positive and a peaceful energy so that their nutrition goals to lead them to i will say weight loss for now right because that's usually most of what most of them want right will help them lose their weight or rather lose their fat mm. faster and in a healthier fashion uh, give me an example like of a particular you don't have to name them of course or you can right <laughs> but but uh, some some symptoms that the patient not patient but your client had for example fatty liver whatever one case that you know people can relate to when they listen to it for example so i had a person who came to me for fat loss okay and she said you know i've gained i have a lot of fat since a long time and i've never really worked on it right. and uh, i have been told that you are the expert in this field so i'm approaching you so we started working on her fat loss goals and after a span of about 3 months hmm. uh her weight didn't move much but uh, she came back to me and she said i want to renew the plan and right. i said why because your weight is not moving as much she said no my fatty liver problem is gone okay. my bp issue is gone my cholesterol is down my ldl hdl levels are fabulous i don't care about my fat loss right. right now but because everything else has started showing so much positivity and so much direction right that uh, i'm sure fat loss is to follow which is what i always tell my members any inquiry coming fat loss is not the when that's your body whether you are whether you look malnourished or you are excess fat mm. it's a symptom that is not the problem that is a symptom it's a the problem is that your internal organs are not functioning to their optimum yeah so once you start feeding so nutrition is preventive medicine uh once you start giving your body the required nutrition automatically the internal organs start functioning better as they start functioning better um uh, to their optimum they start delivering results on the outer side of the body right. so if you have excess fat you will end up losing that fat if you are malnourished and you need to gain weight you will end up gaining good healthy weight right so uh, what is inside out diet is this inside out diet exactly this is the inside out diet where our focus is on making the liver function better uh, pancreas secrete better insulin right. 
uh, cleaning out the intestine so that there is no issue. Usually, a lot of fat loss and malnourishment issues happen because of a bad digestive system. 100%. I agree. Yes. Or bad metabolism. Right. So, either way, we have to address uh, the internal body to make sure that the metabolism rises. But or when you say uh, intestinal cleanse, right? How... Uh, do you mean like a bowel cleanse like people like and do people need to do that again and again is it even healthy or should you know just have a normal diet that is rich in fiber blah 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 so that you get you know constantly you are like in a clean light state mm-hmm. rather than you know going through a hardcore cleanse where they give you some medicine or maybe uh, what's that thing called where they pump uh, water in your bum what's that called uh, colon cleansing yeah uh, cologne therapy ah, oh shit I forgot the name what is that thing called uh, whatever whatever so so is that necessary like because once you do that I'm assuming that your entire intestinal tract will be like empty right and then it will regain all the so how w- the gut flora will be affected don't you think if you do that if you take a medicine and c- completely clean your intestinal tract so the biodiversity the gut biome will get affected by that maybe you know dead or whatever very good science student <laughs> <laughs> so when i say clean the intestines uh, what happens is over a period of time uh, more so with people who are having non-vegetarian right. a lot of uh, food which is not digested lands up getting stuck to the intestinal walls right and uh, remains there for like years and years and years and now right. you can imagine if food is stuck to your intestine for years and years what is going to happen it's to rotting over there <clears throat> it's yeah. rotting it's getting toxic and it is not permitting the intestine to function to its optimum right. so what we do is by changing the diet and you you correctly mentioned fiber by increasing especially for the intestine we increase the quantity of fiber that that person is consuming too much fiber is also not good yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to have calculated quantities of all fiber hmm. protein carbs fat so calculated quantities of pro- fiber are increased to clean out the intestine right. for people who have a really bad gut i may recommend colon cleansing but that is not a recommendation that comes from my end i am totally focused on cleaning out and optimum functioning of the internal organs via nutrition so that intestines clear themselves properly right. your liver is functioning properly so maybe you will have a tough time two or three months but you'll get on the track right that way. nice nice like a lot of people feel that uh, the food is absorbed from the stomach but it is not yeah it enters the stomach it is churned in the stomach but it is actually absorbed in the intestine yes. the small intestine yes. Yes. hence the uh, the the internal part of the intest- the small intestine it's very important that it's kept healthy clean so that the absorption happens correctly and it's not landing up absorbing old leftover remnants of toxins that right. have accumulated right. over the years but do you think like <coughs> even even you for that matter or people who are very particular because who aren't eating processed sugar and all is there a chance that most of us are vulnerable to intestinal toxicity like it's like you can't avoid it completely right or is there a perfect lifestyle where you will be like okay i'm feeling fresh because my intestines are like completely like that's why i said optimum uh, optimum uh, functioning of the internal organs right. so there is no 100% yeah. so whatever may be optimum maybe for some people 65% is mm. optimum some people's 85% is optimum but getting better than what it was right. with the toxins and getting as uh, getting to the best that you can like right. you as an individual would have a different best i as an individual would have a different best right so the best functioning that your body can reach right. uh, is the optimum functioning of your internal organs that brings me to because you have training as well in your yeah. program right yeah. so uh, i've been reading a lot and i've been listening to a lot of uh, health nutrition podcast they have led me to this term which they call adipose tissue which i didn't know was body fat like adipose tissue is body fat and they like if uh, now the time has come that we start calling adipose tissue adipose tissue however you pronounce it as uh, the main source of inflammation okay in your body yeah so and they are also big on skeletal muscle yeah so not your bicep size or what but skeletal muscle so i want to know your views on that that you know people say that okay aesthetically train go gym but how important is this for longevity like for people who who don't want a physique like a magazine or a celebrity cover boy or girl but 
you know who are planning to survive till 80 90 because at the end that's the battle right everyone fears mortality they want to evade death as much as they can right so how much is training important skeletal muscle and adipose tissue your views on that so increase in adipose tissue which right. is fat lands up harming the hormones so the hormones don't function as well as they would uh if the adipose tissue quantities were in a controlled uh space right so we definitely need to have only a required amount of adipose tissue or a certain amount of fat we do need to have that we cannot be completely empty of fat okay please so hormones fluctuate so you see most of the metabolically disordered uh diseases like thyroid pcos which lead to metabolic metabolic disorder usually women have them men don't right. have as much of thyroid these are met- these lead to the drop in metabolism and therefore you would see people with thyroid or pcos landing up gaining far more weight yes yes i i know a pe- few people yeah so that's also a fluctuation of hormones which is out of control so that's the reason so it goes hand in hand yeah. uh, you either have excessive fat hence you develop diabetes thyroid mm. or pcos or you develop it and then you land up gaining because your metabolism has dropped so um maintaining a certain level of adipose tissues so okay uh, let me give you an example i just uh, a, a thyroid patient just started with me a couple of weeks back and i've put her on a program and i never expect them to follow it 100% right. so i always tell them 80% done is also good yeah but she's following it 100% and i know that she's a part of uh, a group that we are so i regularly am interacting with her she's following it 100% she lost 4 kilos in 4 days okay in 4 days she is, dropped 4 is that healthy It is healthy because when you start a nutrition plan the first thing that you do that land up losing is a lot of water, water weight. weight. All right. So in the beginning you can expect a lot of uh, before you quick, hit the plateau. Yeah, yeah. quick all change. Right. Yeah. Right. But, but but still 4 kg is like what? 12, 13 pounds? Like I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. 10 yeah, eight, pounds. 8 to 10. 8 yeah. to 10 pounds in 4 days that sounds a bit unhealthy or yeah. uh, unrealistic. No, but uh, what happens is they have a, women especially have a lot of water. Oh, was she a big woman? Is she a big woman? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So she's that landed up losing so much. uh what i'm trying to get at is that if people who have these kind of issues get on to a, a healthy nutrition program right uh they will definitely see a lot of both internal as well as aesthetic change right right i oh yeah we uh, about no no you finish i, I want to talk about celebrities uh-huh, because go, go. <laughs> because because they are goals right for everyone for millions and millions of people and people don't know how unhealthy the habits are So yeah please take us to because you you know a lot of people in the industry I see your pictures with John Abraham and all that so I just want to know because you have this you know approach and you know how diet works what do they do and you know it's just for a frame and a few minutes that they prepare but we want those bodies I remember you know fight club when fight club came I wanted every guy wanted Brad Pitt's body and that was 4% body fat I said that I wanted to talk about low body fat percentage that was 4% and he wasn't very muscular he was just lean but you know it it just gets you it captivates you now i've realized that i don't want that body because even brad pitt don't want that body you won't see those guys yeah. like that ever right so uh, how unhealthy has it become because i think it's fucked up honestly honestly uh, people are jumping on it because they want they are kicking their butt in the gym every single day with all the supplement stack and they just want that look in their head they think that they can have that look for 365 days so what's been happening according to you and that's exactly what the industry is encashing on yeah yes yes it is sick it is sick yeah show the lollipop you can have this body yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh <clears throat> it's not bad to desire good aesthetics but uh even some of the best people like you've had Deepika Chaudhary on your yeah. interview she's a very dear friend of mine and we were generally discussing oh, i get goosebumps whenever i talk to her ah. she's a true champion i swear to god i swear to god and i was chatting with her and she told me that my three my healthiest body was not when i was at 8 or 9% body fat yeah my healthy body is now when i'm like 18 17 16 18% body fat So even people who are into this professionally understand when it is healthy and when it is not. Right. It is uh practically impossible for anyone to come down to such a low body fat percentage right. and still remain healthy. Hmm. So one of the celebrities who really maintains his um, health 
at whatever 18 19 percent uh, body fat is akshay kumar i i knew you were going to say akshay yeah. kumar yeah he yeah. is one person if you are really look this is what your body will look like if you are natural if you are working out and you are on a healthy diet this is what your body will look at at his age right uh gaining muscle too fast losing muscle too fast gaining fat losing it very fast gaining a six pack because celebrities don't really have so much time they have to stick to schedules in a span of 3 months they have to be ready for a shot yes. or in a span of 1 month sometimes right. so it is practically impossible for the body to move way far from uh, where it has where it has originally started so seed doesn't fall too far from the tree yeah? yeah so you can't drastically change the shape of your body right uh you can make minor changes but mm. not really major if you are not taking some high induce highly inducing uh, substances right so that is very difficult what one should focus on what you correctly mentioned is everybody is now looking out to remain fit hence my focus on the inside out approach focus on the internal functioning of your body and yes. your body will give you the best result it can on the outside right. but if you are looking for something like six pack or hmm. 4% body fat or really ripped or really lean then the path is different you remember you shared this video where this nutritionist young dude right some mumbai doctor i, I even i follow him i just forgot his name but he talks about celebrities and nutrition so he mentioned that okay fine when we are talking about the top player right uh, when we talk about khans or kapoor's right if they have they will have proper guide they'll have the best of the best right they'll have the best trainers best, best doctors telling them this is how you do your cycle even if it's a steroid cycle yeah. this is how you do it this is how you let it go blah blah but when it comes to models or you know new actors uh, they said that the practices are very foul and sometimes they even use very unhealthy not foul but very unhealthy they use laxatives as well to get that you know yeah, lower yeah, chisel yeah. so uh, he, he what's happening like it scares me it scares me because when they do that it's just that have you noticed that there was a time when girls wanted to look skinny like models and someone got to know that they just eat and then they just you know purge it out. out yeah yeah exactly and i know i swear i personally know a few women and uh they know a lot of women they just jumped on it regardless it's unhealthy you are throwing your food out right immediately just to have that taste and then throwing it. so similarly they they said they put it out that they are taking laxatives don't you think it's going to catch up like people are going to start taking laxatives people like me you like who don't even have to go in front of the camera without a t-shirt for that goa trip i don't know <laughs> yeah i i i get what you're saying and yes there was this trend in between the thing is that the industry is so competitive both the um, both bollywood as well as the modeling industry everybody you look around is good looking everybody has a good body so how do you stand out so everyone is trying to it's a the competition is huge so everyone is trying to get better okay how can, it's not that they are not aware they it's not that they're not educated or not aware of the ill effects of purging it out or right. not having adequate nutrition it's just that their body is their business so mm-hmm. they keep the body as a product would be would be kept right whatever is required to maintain that product because that product is what is going to sell right it's not to do with uh, how bad is it for their body because after maybe 10 or 20 years their body has no use yeah n- no whatever cares. is yeah, yeah whatever is uh, to happen is to happen in those 10 to 20 right. years so let me keep my body the best that i can competitive uh, right. would be the word that i use yeah uh so that i am looked at far better than my competition again i don't it's very you see the the line is very thin right. it's jaded so how much is someone else going to uh has a has an upper edge over you right it's very the the, the score is very, the, the space is very tiny yeah. yeah yeah and so when you said that you know for optimum uh fun- performance yeah. fun- of your organs right and you mentioned meditation so what are the uh, what's the approach when it comes to meditation what do you tell your clients like is it like a conventional like sit down listen to music soothing music and just close your eyes stuff like that or there are other practices like when it comes to your clients um i follow and i recommend a very famous uh, meditation by abraham hicks now Ab- abraham have, hicks okay now uh, I don't believe that a person's whole and soul goal in life is to take care of their body, eat right, exercise, sleep. That's all. There are so many other things, right. and 
life is distributed a lot of people feel that their work is right. their life they need to turn up at work make the kind yeah, of money yeah. that is required but again that's a part of their life so then there is family there is health yeah. there is financial career job right. and then there is the self yeah so abraham hicks meditation targets all these aspects right so there are four meditations that i give out one mm. is a financial meditation one is for your physical that's your body and one is for your relations right. and one is general meditation for you yourself please explain when you say financial meditation and yeah each of these aspects yeah. Yeah. so like i just said that they have different aspects a person has different aspects to his life yeah so the reason i give all these meditations i i could have just given physical come on that's my profession yeah. just work on your body and that's about it i'm done figure out everything else on your the way body. most of the nutritionists are doing yeah yeah <laughs> but if you lost your job like a lot of people did in the lockdown yeah you just gone through a divorce uh you had a miscarriage or you've had any problems in the other areas mm. of your life you will not be able to focus on your physical aspect as yeah. strongly so yeah. no matter what all the other aspects are going to affect your physical your health your fitness yes hence the meditations that i give uh target all these areas so that your life is balanced and in harmony and what we are trying to achieve with your fitness and your physical self we are able to to the best that we can right because everything else is in harmony if everything else is going out of whack you will not be able to achieve your physical goals right which is why financial physical so financial uh, meditation would focus on um how they can make money how they should be satisfied with the so amount so no no conventional practices like you know breathe in breathe out like more towards no breathe in breathe out is a, that's a part of every meditation right right then whether you choose to go in for a guided meditation where the words are being thrown out yes. at you which is what this is because a lot of my clients are not Uh, accustomed to meditation and okay. if i ask them to go on their own meditation self right. meditation they'll probably go off track right hence a guided meditation right a uh, relationship meditation talks to them breathe in breathe out that'll be interesting it? what happens in relationship <laughs> meditation i want to know <laughs> about how it is in, how it's important that there are different people in your life because right. they make you what you are and how it's necessary to um uh, function along with them mm-hmm. in which manner should they function along with them should they take up their entire responsibility should oh. they allow this person to dump themselves on right. them so all these things are spoken during the meditation so that people get clearer about why we need relationships and how we should function in our relationships wow and who's feeding the word like are you talking to people like how is it done no no do so they get a <laughs> mpc file where maitri is saying okay leave that bitch <laughs> she's using you something like that no, <laughs> <laughs> no. um she's a gold digger <laughs> anyway so uh, i would if i was creating it for you but <laughs> but no that's where i follow this lady called abraham hicks okay So uh, she has a lot of other videos also on uh, YouTube where right. she speaks about different aspects different problems and she tries to heal them but uh, meditation is I use her meditation and I give out her meditation to my clients there are right. there are so many meditators right, let right. me just go to YouTube there is a list of uh, yeah, meditations yeah, sure, sure, available yeah. for whatever you want for your right. body for your physique for your relation for whatever right but i focus on this one okay uh, in fact uh, you must have heard of this um, very famous app called calm yeah 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 it's you sleep apparently it's it something. it is a meditation app yeah, so you can yeah. choose what you want yeah. to and that has become very famous in fact it's probably the number one app right now in the meditation right. zone i so. kind of feel sad when i see people need apps to sleep somehow somehow Yeah. I I am not saying that I live a stress free life there's a lot of stress just like a- any other person but it's just that by the time it's 11 12 right I'm just so tired that I just go to sleep and I'm just wondering why people are putting that soothing music to go to sleep I'm not complaining that they shouldn't but it's just sad that they have to why don't you just exhaust yourself hey that i think that's where a uh, physical exercise comes in play right yes. like you actually have to step out and exhaust yourself to an extent and regularly make it a lifestyle this is not like i want six pack but just get a sound sleep right so i mean apps you prom- you have to promote apps or you know why no i don't promote apps right. i just if someone is so like i said we give these three things out in our program nutrition exercise and meditation right. 
if someone is already on to any kind of meditation and they wish to continue they can but this is what the program offers even in terms of exercise i either give them uh, if they are let's say they are new mothers right. they can't really leave the home too long because they need to be yes. around their babies yes. then i give them home workouts right. where they can be at home they can watch the video follow it for about 30 40 minutes be done with their exercise right. rather than miss it because they were not able to go to the gym right then i have hardcore gymers as well yeah. women men old age younger yeah. ones everybody where uh, i give them a format of so i'm a certified trainer as well uh, i don't train I'm, but but yeah, yeah, yeah i'm qualified so i give them workouts which they can follow at the gym hmm. so you know your squats three sets 15 reps or 12 reps right. lunges uh, step ups whatever may be the uh, workout of the day so i give them that as well so if they are gymers they get this kind of a workout right. if they have want to stay at home they get a video workout that's from me but if they are people who have trainers at the gym right then i do encourage them to remain with the trainer because um uh, what they can benefit from with that proximity with the trainer and the trainer constantly watching them right they may not be able to benefit as much from the video Virtually, or the yeah, yeah. yeah. so that so you don't want to take that so i encourage <laughs> 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 so i encourage them to remain that right, you know? yeah so uh, this question is related to cooking yeah so th- uh, this thing is catching up lately the cast iron pans and all right yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so do you, you uh, because i want to Uh, whenever these new trends show up right i want to give it a shot or at least i want to research so they're like not like teflon because now suddenly teflon has become super dangerous yeah. so they are falling back to the heavy ass yeah. cast iron yeah. pan <laughs> so i want to use one should i like you know they say that it's perfect and it whatever it's just yes so this used to be uh, iron was used in in yes to your right? grandmama yeah. and everybody yeah. used to and then we suddenly found a teflon based pans right. which are so easier and smooth that you don't need to clean them and yeah. you know the, the pancake comes out so yeah. yeah so easily so uh, but yes of course it has come up with its own uh, range of uh, problems right cancer being one of yes. them and uh, teflon is now it, you can't avoid it it's there everywhere it's in bottles it's in uh, it's on pans so you're cooking in it but definitely uh, iron if people can move to iron based pans or vessels to cook it they will not only benefit from the lack of teflon but they will also benefit from the iron yes. that is absorbed by the food right. and which will become a part of their nutrition i don't know how much of a dose will they get regularly but for women you know iron is one of the most famous so you know do you promote this stuff that you know they should should we talk about it that you know switch to heavy cast iron pans and all especially women okay. i definitely encourage that right. however uh, speed has become Uh so whenever I'm ta- talking to my inquiries about they, the first thing they tell me is listen we don't have time to cook okay that's sad we, hmm. no the here is the better part uh i have to tell them that you know what your health foods or the nutrition or the diet plan that i'm going to give okay. is going to consume far lesser time than what your regular meal preparation okay. does because you have to have foods foods a lot more raw than what you would uh, otherwise uh and less processed less cooked uh, less tossed around not like pav bhaji right which just puts all the <laughs> yeah. vegetables together i love it mash i love it, it <laughs> destroy it even add masala to yes. ruin it even more right <laughs> so why do you may think it's mixed veg it's uh, it's lava <laughs> it's it, lava you've actually destroyed all the nutrients <laughs> yes the butter component of course yes. is taking yes. up uh, i don't think this any nutritional value in pav bhaji any it's just fat have fat no <laughs> like, right yeah So um the diet like my diet would include things like stir fried which means uh you just uh, add a little olive oil or ghee right. and stir fry the veggies open them up slightly don't open them up so much that's open up the nutrient value of the veggies right. slightly okay. don't open them up so much that they get destroyed so hmm. just slightly open it up and then consume it or salads in the afternoon right. which is a raw form of veggies that they can consume or multi grain chapati is another thing that i i encourage a lot not only is it far more filling than having two chapatis one multi grain chapati will do the job of two chapatis mm. you benefit from the amino acids of seven flours so you know there's this uh, seven grain atta in the market um, i i don't know but there are many yeah yeah so i don't encourage that okay. you make your atta at home make your flour at home the traditional way the yeah. traditional way yeah. get you can get your ragi bajra right. jao jowar everything mix them all missi at home together hamare jammu mein missi roti bolte hain missi roti missi correct roti. no wheat 
no maida no wheat no me- wheat or no maida no no maida is something else but no wheat at all uh, maida is nothing but wheat refined a little exactly, more exactly yeah yeah so no wheat no maida okay okay so you have a roti made of uh, the rest everything else soya bean flour uh, oats you can put mm. quinoa buckwheat bajra wheat right. uh, sorry not wheat bajra jow jowar right. you can put all these things so yeah. you uh, are staying away from wheat i want to know why because you know most of the people uh, our households they are big on wheat they say no to maida any day and i know it's just like jaggery and sugar right so yeah, you are yeah. having jaggery or sugar correct. so we will still fall back to jaggery right so why don't you uh, tell people or why don't you advocate wheat uh, like uh, i'm talking whole wheat it's not no it's not that i don't advocate wheat so right. uh have you heard of dalia you must have had sure, it as well sure, veg dalia sure. do you know dalia is a raw a coarser form of wheat yeah yeah so what we do encourage now i call this the grandmother concept okay. not your grandmother concept <laughs> not my grandmother concept but grandmother so what is the parent of maida is wheat right the parent of wheat is dalia oh so you try to go back as much the parent of the parent of whichever is same thing Get with it. sugar yeah. the 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 mother of sugar is brown sugar right. mother of brown sugar is jaggery whose mother is sugar, sugar cane, cane. Yeah. so you try the the less processed yeah, or the, the raw least processed, or, yeah, yeah. the least processed right. uh is better nice nice yes grandmother that is new nice i like that concept yeah <laughs> nani ki nani <laughs> Now I'm going to talk about something controversial because I and I want your opinion and views and uh, uh, and guidance as well because I'm starting a journey now. So here's the thing. Here's a side effect of being a podcaster. So once you are a podcaster, especially if you started your podcast recently, let's say five years or something like that, it's been two years for me. You are a Joe Rogan fan, and Joe Rogan is the greatest podcaster on this planet right now. So whatever he does or whatever he follows you end up following. So there's this thing there's this dude called Sean Baker. He authored a book where he spoke about carnivore diet. Now, I know, I know. I know what you're thinking. But I want to give it a shot. And it's not like I was I was never the guy who would you know stick to keto or do this or grab a particular diet. But this one since I just love meat so much, I'm like and then they are talking about endless benefits as well so i just want to jump i don't want to flirt with it i want to dive in i want to experience it so here's the thing this chon baker guy he promotes absolute carnivore diet like he has steaks in the morning breakfast he's having steaks so he'll have one month where he'll go absolutely carnivore but on the rest of the months where he's not having completely carnivore he will add eggs so you know what i mean the only thing no veggies at all no fruits at all nothing and these guys are doing fantastic in the gym their blood work is showing good reports inflammation down to zero the inflammation markers are very low and it's just that i just don't want to turn a blind eye to it because even my parents told me that don't eat so much non-veg you'll get you'll fall sick blah 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 constipation chronic constipation or something else whatever but when i look at these guys so this joe rogan guy he every january he does a carnivore diet month so he goes for a carnivore diet and i'm going to do that feb 1 to feb 27 this this year right i want to do that so it won't be as hardcore as subah utke steak khaya sham ko steak khaya no it will be eggs it but everything will come from animals that's all mm. i might add a few leaves in my lunch but i want to give it a shot so i want you to guide me and tell me what you think about this i know it's very extreme and you will never recommend any of your patients to do that ever you know uh we have humans have a vestigial organ in our body appendix no vestigial organ which is supposed it is there in the body to digest non vegetarian okay so humans were made to consume non vegetarian right so it's not that i don't advocate what you're saying but if you are saying that they stay off leaves and no fruits no greens nothing yeah. uh let me see let me meet you in march <laughs> <laughs> yes that's what I, so yeah i i i, I mean, would love to see your experiment I, I, yeah you would be like yeah i'm willing to do that i'm not saying that you know give me a reason not to because i have prepared myself that i'm going to give one month to a carnivore diet but i'll be having coffee they don't even recommend coffee all those who are religious about it right yes. some people just get religious about it i don't want to be that hardcore but i want to start my day with eggs and sausages cheese cheese will be there paneer hoga usme 
but there won't be any oats rice chapati multi grain oh so it's almost like keto there's a difference now keto uh, okay so uh, what's that process called uh, gluconeogenesis where you know yeah. uh, protein the, creates the glucose exactly the fats or proteins fat are protein. creating uh, rather than carbohydrates no carbs, yeah, yeah exactly so if you increase your protein content in keto that happens mm. here there are no such restrictions you can have as much protein and as much fat mm. so of course you'll get into the keto state of course that's yeah, like yeah. That, that's a given right you will but here's the difference there's there are no limits like keto diet keto will tell you not to do a lot of stuff mm mm-hmm. so carnivore you eat as much because mm. you also have to fill yourself up calories right you need all yeah. of that so i'm going to figure that out i have figured it out so yeah, yeah as you said that you know meet me in the month of march <laughs> so 20 28 days i will of course i will so first feb i'll start i'll keep you posted the way you keep or that is something really fantastic about you that you keep all of your clients including me to you know <laughs> every morning i wake up it's been 2 years since we've had a chat yeah. but it doesn't feel like that because i see you post every single yeah. morning that yeah. have this juice don't yeah. have this juice so i will keep you posted for like uh, this month feb i'll tell you because they say that it also affects you, uh, people in a good way all those who have autoimmune diseases right so this dude joe rogan had which ligo oh, okay. yeah he said that my patches were filling up wow he just did that for one he does that the downside is that he experienced explosive diarrhea with that so okay. maybe he took time yes. to acclimatize to it or whatever yeah. so whatever may happen i'm ready for it so i'll be the guinea pig for everyone and okay, i want to go out with it and i want you i i'll update you with everything definitely yeah. i would love to know how it works but but I, do i need to be careful with anything like you know any harms because i'm not having yes let me tell you what you need to be careful with so the liver can take a toll with excess protein if it can't digest the amount of protein okay and you will need to have a lot of water to make sure that your kidneys are doing the perfect job because if you're not having enough water kidneys will shut down and then the liver will be doing the job of the kidney that okay. is processing the water and and digesting which means the liver will not have time or opportunity to digest the protein protein accumulates could lead to uric acid could lead to liver collapse right that's about it these are a couple of things that you need to take care of that's about so it. plenty of water plenty so of you, water so uh, if uh, veggies right. if you can but i don't think you intending to have veggies i will add a few leaves in my lunch or breakfast i'm having sausages or i'll stay away from processed meat egg is fab egg and even now i have four or five eggs like full eggs so i know i don't know about like do you tell people to have whole eggs in this quantity i uh, see like i said most of them are on a uh, fat loss right so they are usually on egg no whites, on yolks but yeah. yeah the ones who are on a weight gain i definitely include eggs for them that's the full egg full with egg. the yellow full egg yeah so it's been like um, it's been, i have forgotten how many years it has been since i'm having four eggs a day Come, whole eggs that's whole eggs four good. five four five that's really good right so i mean I don't feel that fear that okay cholesterol or even so this carnivore diet they even talk about triglycerides and cholesterol levels they are normal right and they are doing it for years I just want to give it one month why not yeah so and then I'll add a few fruits after one month but yeah. not go- going back to the complete you know yeah. an- anaj wala diet yeah I guess yeah I got that yeah uh, the only thing you need to take care of is that you. might like to think of including veggies right okay. just to keep it smooth plenty of water and veggies yeah hmm noted maitri anything else um okay let me also tell you about uh, the customization of our nutrition program right 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 so no nutrition program is repeated not a single client of mine gets a repeat or there's no customized plan that i just xerox and hand out to people every member who yeah. joins is carefully scrutinized so how do we go about the scrutiny we have a health questionnaire which we email to our inquiries right. which they need to fill and we ask questions like what foods you like what you dislike because it's absolutely possible to get to your fitness goals eating different things and including things that you like are there top secret questions in that or are they like no, no? not really so it could be questions like what food like you do like do you want uh, to reveal it to public how about yeah, you send yeah. me one and i post uh, post it out there why do let me do a questionnaire of yours and i'll tell this is what she had asked and you know let people know that these are the why questions not? and then your assumptions yes cool Done. yeah let's let's do we that. also take their inches right. because i'm an inch sure, loss expert sure. they weigh the food they like the food they dislike what right. time do they work out what time uh, 
or do they have a trainer do they have any medical issues right so we ask we take all these details right. so that it helps and it goes into record right because uh, we have minimum 6 month programs because yeah. it takes 6 months for any change to occur in the right. body rather 3 months for a change to occur in the body hmm. and another 3 months for it to stabilize within the body right usually if you just work on a diet for 3 months and you leave it and you get back it'll all come back again yeah. it's not yeah. you've not given it enough time to sit into your right. body and become a part of your system yeah. hence 6 months for anything and what we do is the body plateaus out into the workout or the diet mm-hmm. in a span of 4 to 6 weeks okay so before it reaches 4 weeks we change the nutrition plan oh okay so you have in 6 months you get 6 nutrition plans and 6 workout plans your meditation right. remains the same right and every sunday now what happens another huge issue is a lot of people have tried diets on their own mm. or they've come up to my sister's a dietitian my brother's <laughs> yeah. a dietitian i'm one of them yeah and they don't land up getting results from it because they are not being monitored mm. so what we started is a very careful scrutiny and monitoring of their diet plan so let's say every sunday we have i have an interaction with my members about how the last week was whether they cheated or anything went haywire right. what is their performance so right. they only take their weight and inches every sunday that's right. it sunday to sunday so that right. we can see how your body is moving what are the changes that are happening right. in a sheet so right. you know every week Understood. everything yeah. your measurements are listed down right. and we see that and even the member sees that to see how they are changing right so this is how we maintain monitoring right awesome. and uh, yeah that's about it so perfect as always it was fantastic my dear thank you loved it loved having you here thank you so much thank you abhimanyu 